Hey guys, so I'm ready to sift some red wigglers here and I'm going to weigh them and I'm going to pack them up uh, for shipping. So I just wanted to show you how I do this and what I actually pack them in so you all can see um, how this is done. Wow, look at that big bowl of red wigglers. These are red wigglers from my breeder bins. So I'm going to clean them up a little more and then I'm going to weigh them and I'm going to bag them up for shipping. Alright guys, so these are the worms I'm going to ship out. I'm going to take some of their bedding a little bit and put it on there. I'm sh shipping them a half a pound of worms. It went over a little bit already. So I'm going to add a couple more worms and then I'm going to go over there and pack them up. So I added a bunch of peat moss. Usually you add the same amount of peat moss that you do in worms. So if you have a pound of worms, you add a pound of peat moss. But I always seem to go over. It's hard to do this with one hand, but I really want to show you guys. So I make sure all the worms are coated, completely coated in the peat moss and their little bit of bedding they have in here. And then I'm going to show you the type of bags that I like to use. You can use sand bags or you can use these bags that I have. Now I have one here, a new one, just to show you. It's a breathable bag. And they travel nice in these. So what I do is I take one of these buckets and I put it like this so that I could put the whole little package in there. Um, it just makes it easier. I need to get me one of those metal things that has like a chute so you could put the bag underneath. But anyway, <laughs> this is what I have. So I put them in here. As you can see, they're well coated. And I believe these guys are going to Arizona. So here they are in the bag. Now when I ship worms, I don't tie it all the way down and make it tight like that because I don't know, I just feel like they're squished. So I turn the bag around and I zip tie it up here so that they have a little wiggle room. So when I put the worms in here, I always have the cardboard at the bottom. I put them diagonal. I don't like to put them like this sideways because I feel like they get smashed. So I put them diagonal and then in here and in here, more cardboard's going to go to cushion everything. That way they don't bounce around. Another little thing I do is I poke holes in the box on every side just to make sure there's air circulation in there for them. Now these are red wigglers. They are very forgiving worms, but you know, I still want them to have some air. Okay, so this box weighs 1.84 ounces. So one pound and 8.4 ounces. So when I come over here, I have to put, now this is the weight on eBay because I want to compare prices. So one pound. So the ounces on eBay doesn't let you do 8.4. So I round it up to nine. And then my box measures seven by seven by six. So seven by seven by six. Click OK. <clears throat> Let's see how much it's going to cost to ship this one. So this one, eBay says priority mail 1176. So let's go back to, to pirate ship and let's see what they want to charge me. So here it's telling me how much, how many worms I got, the date. So now I'm going to click get rates. And then that way I can pick the kind of box that I'm going to use. So if I come over here, it gives me the option. I can use a regular box that I have like around my house that I can measure. Obviously we're not going to ship worms in, in an envelope or I can pick one of the priority boxes. So this one's called priority mail. Let me see. I can't see. Small flat. No, no. I got to find which one it is. All right. Let me bring you back when I find it. Okay. So my box is priority mail cubic and it's the cheapest and 
they're charging me 1068. All right, I put one of my little cards in there. I put a thank you for your purchase card. And now I got to seal everything up. I'm going to put a little more bedding and then go to the computer. So then when I take my uh, printer, my label out of here, I put it on the top of my box. This is just to cover the address. And off to the post office I go. I hope you understood this. It's hard to show you pirate ship and all this without showing you people's addresses. So I just might come up with a fake one just so I could show you how it works a little better. But anyway, pirate ship is definitely cheaper than the post office even though they work together but pirate ship will offer you better rates that's for sure so i hope you enjoyed this <laughs> and um i have worms <laughs> so it's the garden lady and worms.com and i'm also on ebay so you could find me on there with the same name and i'll see you next time